in this lecture we are going to talk about the transportation and dirty area in SSU the main point in this picture will be point of use treatment uh, or pre-cleaning before transportation transportation of reusable medical device to dirty area in SSU and spalting classification dirty area in the SSU uh, including receiving, sorting, and disassembling of reusable medical device, manual cleaning of reusable medical device, cleaning tools and equipment, uh, lubrication, and pass-through windows in SSU. First of all, we will talk about the point of use treatment or pre-cleaning before transportation. Uh, the reusable medical or contaminated reusable medical device should be pre-cleaning immediately uh, by enzymatic spray. Point of use preparation does not replace the cleaning process, nor reprocessing of instrument as carry inside the dental clinic. So the SSU should not receive the single-use instrument or disposable blades or any body fluid uh, and must be disposed or discarded at the point of use or in the clinic. For the transportation of RMD to dirty area in SSU, item must be transported to the SSU for full reprocessing in a uh, closed tray on the trolley with biohazard label or inside container in closed cart. It, the uh, contaminated instrument should be uh, uh, contained inside the closed trolley or closed cart. Do not transport the box by hand. Also, tray container and cart should be have secret lid to prevent infection spread and robust to prevent falling over and uh, protect instrument from damage, also leak proof to prevent liquid spillage and easy to be cleaned, disinfect and dried to prevent spread of infection. Important point that should be taken in consideration is the contaminated instrument should be transported on a rota rotational base by direct uh, routes for far and far from public traffic. Also, the PPEs and biohazard spill kit should be available for the transportation process. Uh, if only one container or cart is available, it should be decontaminated and disinfected before uh, using again to transport clean or sterile items. Also, we should keep the cart uh, always closed at all times expected during loading and unloading. And uh, finally, during transportation of the contaminated instrument, cart must be closed and attend all the time. In this slide, we will talk about the spalding classification. Uh, reprocessing the reusable medical device depending on the body site. The first one is uh, non-critical. It will contact to the skin of the patient, for example, the blood pressure cuff and the uh, minimum inactivation level will be cleaning and or low intermediate level disinfection. The second one is semi-critical. It contact with the mucous membranes uh, such as the endoscopes and we should apply high level disinfection. The third type will be critical such as the surgical instrument and the process it should be taken will be the sterilization process. Okay, for the dirty area in this SU, uh, we should apply receiving, sorting, and disassembling of reusable medical device in correct way. So the contaminated reusable medical device should be received in dirty area after hand hygiene and wearing appropriate personal protective equipment. The second thing is disassembling all instrument and open all joint instrument before manual cleaning. So this is the most important point. And the third one is disassemble any device or instrument that have parts such as sections. The definition of manual cleaning is defin uh, defined as the removal of all 
visible and non-visible soil and any other forging material from reusable medical device. It is a pre uh, step to the disinfection, disinfection or sterilization step. So it's essential step before applying disinfection and sterilization, we should apply manual cleaning. Cleaning must be performed immediately once the instruments are received to reduce the formation of biofilm that adhere to the surface of a contaminated instrument. We should apply correct manual cleaning to uh, remove any soil or uh, uh, soil adheres to the surface of this instrument to uh, make the disinfection and sterilization, sterilization process effective. Cleaning solution and water must be changed when it, whenever it is visibly soiled to prevent any re-depositions uh, on instruments. When performing manual cleaning, uh, stuff must be involved friction to physically remove debris through wiping, brushing, spraying, or flushing the items. Use soft or stainless steel crystal brush to clean serration and box lock. So it's this part is difficult to be clean, so we should use the crystal brush. Cleaning should be under the surface of water to reduce the risk of uh, aerosol production. Slide, we will talk about the cleaning tools and equipment. Instrument cleaning sink with two or three basins should be available in dirty area. Also, the different size of brushes, air gun and water gun, detergents and solution, including alkaline, enzymatic, neutralizer, and rust removal, disinfectants, even if it's low uh, disinfections or high disinfection solutions, uh, uh, washer disinfector, cleaning indicators, cleaning trays, cleaning tables, environmental monitors system. Many instruments need to, to be lubricant for easy and effective movement such as hand pieces. Lubrication implementing by place a few drops of lubricant into the uh, drive air hole of the hand piece. Continue to expel any excess lubricant through bearings and chuck. We have two types of lubrication. We have manual lubrication and automated lubrication. The point we will talk about in this lecture is the pass-through window in SSU. SSU should have access window between dirty and clean area to delivery or the surgical instrument after manual cleaning process.